Alright everyone, welcome back to another OBS multi-platform aka OBS Studio tutorial. In this video I'm going to be covering the bit rates that you should use. Bit rates for recording, bit rates for streaming, the settings that you need to put in to get quality out of your videos. I covered this a little bit in the recording settings video and I'm probably going to cover it in various points in other videos, but I wanted to dedicate a whole video to it. Now the bit rate is essentially how much data is being fed into your video to get quality from it. And it's a very, very important setting. There's two tools you're going to need for this. Actually, three tools. You're going to need speedtest.net. You're going to need OBS's estimator, which is going to give you the stream settings bit rate that you should use. And you'll need this YouTube help article, which tells you various bit rates and provides a lot of useful information about video quality here on YouTube. All of these links will, of course, be in the description below, as well as the playlist with all the other videos and helpful information and things like that regarding OBS and our channel and how you can help us, etc. Let's jump into it. This video is brought to you by TunnelBear. TunnelBear is an extremely fast and cheap, or even free, way to protect and hide your data and IP address from unwanted spying. By hiding it behind a bear. TunnelBear also zaps away tracking cookies and allows you to tunnel through other countries to avoid censorship. It's fast, affordable, and even has a free option. Click the link in the description below to try it out for free today. This video is also brought to you by our contributors to our Patreon campaign. Our patrons contribute to our work via a small monthly contribution to help us build bigger and better projects, content, and collaborations, and they receive early access to our videos across all of our channels. Check the description or YouTube card now to check it out. So for live streaming, we have to select a bitrate, but that's going to be in a different format than normal OBS stuff. So if we set up a Twitch stream here and we set up US West and put in our stream key and hit apply, we still don't actually have a bitrate set up. So we're going to go to output and we're going to be on simple mode here. And this is going to, our, our recording bitrate is going to determine our streaming bitrate at the same time in simple mode. We'll get to advanced mode in a future video. So this bitrate is going to be a bit lower than if we're actually recording. So for audio while you're live streaming, 160 to 192 is going to be good enough. 128 is the average, so if you have a slower internet connection, drop it down to 128, but generally try to avoid going below 128, just because it starts to get pretty crappy sounding beyond that point. For actual streaming bit rates, first you're going to want to run a speed test on speedtest.net. Run the test and it's going to tell you how fast your internet is. You're going to want to make sure you don't have other downloads or uploads going at the same time because those will be eating up your bandwidth and giving you slow speeds. And I have other stuff going at this time, so we're going to show probably some wonky speeds. We're at least showing a very, very high ping here, which I don't really need to be having, but it's there. So my download speed is about 30 megabytes per, megabits rather per second down, and my upload speed is about 4.5 megabits per second up last time I checked. It may show differently here. Looks like we're hitting about four here. So we're gonna, oh, there's the 4.5. We're gonna run about four megabits per second. Okay, so we're gonna take that number that speed test gives you and pop it in OBS's estimator. Choose your system specifications. So you're gonna wanna figure out your computer specifications in terms of what kind of processor you have. For example, I have an eight core FX processor from AMD, so I'm gonna choose the AMD FX option. I have higher than this graphic card, so I'm gonna choose it. If you're on a laptop, you have these other options to choose from. And then what types of games I'm gonna be playing? I'll play action games. And then this has kilobits instead of megabits. So you're gonna to wanna to multiply this number here by a thousand. So I have 4670. And then I'll be streaming at 720p. So recommended settings, it says recommended max bit rate 3000. So that's what I'm gonna put into OBS here. I'm gonna put I'm actually going to put 2900 to be safe and account for the audio. And then click apply, and that's going to be our bit rate for streaming to Twitch, YouTube, etc. based on our internet speed. If we're just recording, however, then it's going to be a little bit different. Ignore the streaming services because we're not going to be streaming. We're only going to be using the recording button. And you're going to want to use this YouTube information box that I have linked in the description below to determine your bitrate, as well as keep in mind what kind of hard drive you're recording. Again, I covered this in the original recording video, but if you're recording to your C drive or the or your main a single hard drive in your computer, especially in a laptop, you're gonna have to record at a lower bitrate because you are bottlenecking your hard drive and that your hard drive is already spinning and using its transfer speeds to run your operating system, that being Windows or Mac or Linux, 
as well as running your games. So it's already putting out through all that data. It's not going to have very much room for your video recording. However, 8 megabytes or 12 megabytes isn't that much, or megabits or whatever. So it shouldn't matter that much if you're, you know, for this recording. So for a basic 1080p 30 frames per second recording, just type in 8000 or 8196 if you want to have a little bit of extra bitrate. And if you're recording, you're always going to want to have 320 kilobytes audio. Just always. There, there, there is no situation in which you should not have the max of 320 audio here. It is the best possible quality, quality. The best possible quality audio is the most important aspect of a recording, and that's what it should be. If you're recording a 60 frames per second video, you should do 12 megabytes per second. And you can use this handy little chart to determine what bitrate you should record at. So for a basic 1080p recording, 8196 or just 8000 should be good. Hit apply and hit OK, and you're good to go. But keep in mind that this is strictly for recording now. If you're streaming, you're not going to be able to stream that fast unless you have really, really fast internet. I don't have the best internet, so I can't, but people with really fast internet might be able to. This is where this advanced option comes into play, as you can actually stream to a different bitrate than you actually record at. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I'll get to it in a future video. I do hope this video has been helpful to you guys. This is a very difficult topic to talk about and make a video on, but I do hope I did shed some light on the issue for you guys. If I did help, leave a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out various links in the description below for lots of awesome stuff. Also, be sure to follow us over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eposvox. That link will be in the description below. We've been picking up more streams, and once we finish our final move here, we're moving to an apartment. We're going to be streaming a ton, so be sure to follow us over on Twitch. And feel free to request whatever game you'd like to see. If you want to see us stream a game, we may very well stream it. Be sure to request it as well. And I'll see you next time. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, eposvox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel, that way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next Epic Tech video.